So welcome back everyone. Um, today is gonna be not your usual video. We're gonna do something that only happens once a year. Looks like they spilled the water bowl again. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna open this up. Yeah, today's video is gonna be about uh, separating the hands from the cockbirds um, in preparation of the racing season. Uh, as many of you guys know, um, in our racing uh, season, like dates, I guess, uh, the way you set it up, uh, it doesn't allow the um, bird to fly with. Uh, we call them the widowers here. Um, it doesn't allow for them to breed a full second round and raise them themselves. So what we do have to, what we do, um, have to do here right now is um, they're basically they've been breeding for about 10 days on their second round eggs uh, and as I said before we can't have them raise the kids because it doesn't fit with the schedule so we take the hands away uh, right here we put the eggs and that we do need in an adoption underneath an adoption uh, couple and we let them raise them which I have explained in another video uh, prior. But um, yeah, um, I think some of these, yeah, this one has, still has a young uh, bird. And I think one down there might as well. No, no, it's only gonna be this one. But uh, that doesn't really matter too much. Um, the coke bird is 100% able to raise that kid um, for the remaining few days uh, that it needs to get old enough to be weaned so that doesn't really matter um, at all so yeah uh, let's grab the hands I'll set the camera up somewhere you'll be able to see me grab them I did put um, a basket here this basket doesn't close um, sometimes they close with the little things but this one doesn't so I had to put that on there so that can't escape um, and yeah and I'm gonna put them through that one thing right there but yeah I'll set the camera up and uh, probably what would be useful would be like a chest mounted so you can see me because I do think I need both hands uh, for this task so yeah I'll probably set them up in the yeah, we'll see. So I just noticed this hen is still sitting on the nest, even though it's uh, usually time for the cockbirds right now, but this one still is. So I'm able to grab her with one hand. This is a young bird hen. This is actually, I don't know if you guys remember, but this is number 62. Let's put her in here. For now let's move this so they can't get out or she can't and then i don't think yeah the other ones sitting on the floor are all hands which is going to be a little bit more difficult to do with one hand so i'm gonna set the camera up so i did manage to set the camera up in the corner nest box so now we're gonna try and be real slow and get some of these uh, hands. That was a bit annoying, but I did manage to get it. This is that one hand from... Yeah, she's a real wild one. This is at one end from the ace pigeon strain. It looks like the lighting is a little bit off, but yeah, there we go. She's real nice. She does a race pretty decent. Um, I think she's one of our best hands, oops, uh, during the after season. So I'll just go put her in the basket.
so with 10 more to go I'll probably film about three otherwise it will get a little bit too long of a video this one's I don't know what she's doing but uh, she's got real wide hips this is that dark grizzle was last year also one of the better young birds obviously from the grizzle strain we'll see what she does paired up to a new cock bird um, or the cock birds paired up to a new hen is basically the same but you know we'll see how her kids turn out yeah grab um what, I don't know the one sitting here maybe it's always a, a little bit easier if you try and get them in the nest box um, to grab them I grabbed this one out of the nest box next to the camera I don't think this is a young bird actually or oh, wait no it is it is a young bird, a regular blue, but uh, yeah, this will be the final one I'll film, how many, or no, I'll do one more, I'm gonna get going for three minutes. Let's get one more, let's try to get the grizzle in the, in this. Yeah, it's way easier if you try and get them get them in a nest box to grab them this is that really dark grizzle almost looks like black but it's very dark grizzle yeah this isn't the best lighting but uh you know She's actually a 2019 bird. Was wondering why she had pretty wide shoulders, but um, yeah. This will be the final one. Um, I'll film and then we'll get another scene for clipping. So as you can see, the loft is looking kind of empty. Only the cock birds remaining. He's sitting behind there. And hidden down there. So yeah, we got every single hen. Now we're gonna move them down in the basket. Oops, I still have to move this away. Let's put this back on the feeding tray. Let's close this up. Let's try not to fall off the stairs. So yeah, another thing we do have to do with these um, is we're gonna mark them. Well, not really mark them. We're just gonna put a little band on them. We should have some bands left here. I don't know, maybe yellow. Oh, it looks like we have quite a lot of colors. Uh, let's take yellow. So we're gonna put these um, on their second um, leg that doesn't have the ring number on it. Um, just so we know uh, which ones are paired up to the birds upstairs and which ones aren't. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that right now. So I just grabbed the first hand, which is this one, the Ace Pigeon Strain one. Probably the nicest colors. 
So now we're gonna grab a little band right here. And this is quite hard to do. Um, my father is better at it than I am. But um, yeah, this one doesn't have a ring number on. Uh, like an electronic chip ring, I mean. So now we're gonna put this one over it and then snap it in place. If it wants to go. There it goes. Oops, I was out of shot. Yeah. Now they have a, she has a yellow ring. And we're probably gonna put them, yeah, let's put them in the, in this loft for now. There she goes. So let's now grab another one. Looks like we have the light grizzle. Also used to be a young bird. This is number 67, as many of you guys remember. It was a fan favorite last year, so. Looks like my dad already removed all the, oops. Already removed all the chip rings. So yeah, just get it over and snap it. The snapping part is sometimes a little harder. There we go. And let's also put her in here. Looks like we got two grizzles in a row. This is the darker one. I don't know which ring number she had. 82, maybe? Yeah, 80, 82. This one's actually quite a lot bigger than the other one. Let's try and get it on there again. There we go. This one snapped a little bit easier. Let's put her on here as well. Let's get you guys a closer look. If I can get you off of here. There we go. So yeah, this is the temporary loft we're gonna put them in. They're already being chased by the young, uh, young cockbirds right there. But um, yeah, they'll be fine. There's one. And yeah, I won't film the rest again or the video is gonna be ages, so yeah. So yeah, that's that. We already got all nine of them moved in here. There's two sitting right there, two sitting upstairs, and the small cock bird chasing. But um, that'll be no problem. Then for the eggs, um, out of them. We should have moved uh, all of them underneath one of these foster families already, so there'll be no problem. Um, yeah. Looks like they're sitting a bit weird, but um, yeah. Everything should be fine. I'll just call my dad here in a moment um, to make sure I don't have to get some eggs from upstairs anymore, which I shouldn't, but you can uh, still make sure. But uh, yeah, and uh, this will be the video, you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed um, something different uh, than we've been having a lot of lately, so yeah. Anyways, uh, I would like to thank you all for watching once again. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and have a good day.